Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to teach you how to use and install EasyDef, which is a powerful uh, add-on for Blender that uses an AI model to generate a depth map based on a real image or whatever image you want. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank you for buying this add-on and if you're still uh, thinking on buying, uh, whether or not to buy, make sure you do because it's worth it, really. Okay, so first thing you do is install the add-on wherever you want on your computer and then you open Blender. Once you do that, you're gonna go to top left where it says edit, then you go to preferences, add-ons, and then on this window on the top right you have this little arrow, click it, and then go install from. The Once you've selected the add-on from where you have saved it, you close this window and open the end tab by pressing N which opens this side tab and then we're going to select the easy death add-on okay so since we're converting an image to a 3d model first thing you're going to do is add in a plane for example and let's subdivide it a bit like 30 times so you're going to select uh, from here you're going to select the image you want to convert into a depth map I have I have six image. So the first one is a rock texture. I'm gonna select it. You have the depth settings, the minimum depth and the maximum depth. I found that these ones were the ones uh, the the values that worked the best most of the time. So I'll leave it as default. Then you also ha have invert depth in case you want to to invert. Then you have depth strength, which is basically if you apply it as a modifier, it will set the modifier strength to a um, to this value, okay? And the invert depth will make that value negative. Uh, and if you apply it as a shader, it will basically happen the same thing, but with a, um, with a displacement node, okay? So. If you apply it as a modifier, you have non-destructive, which basically will apply a displacement uh, modifier on this plane, but it won't activate it at first. So if you activate this, that will happen. If you leave it as it is on default, deactivate it, it will apply right then and it will be on. You can also um, set the displacement coordinates to whether UV, local or global, I'll leave it as a UV since this is a simple plane. And you also have subdivide mesh. We have already subdivided. So I'm going to subdivide two more times anyways, just to get that real uh, detail. All right, once everything is done, um, well, one more thing before we generate, you have, if you click here, you go to my, to the Blender kit, sorry, to the Blender market add-ons that I've made and also 3D models. You also have the license, the license of this add-on and the uh, open how to guide that opens a readme file of this add-on and this YouTube video you're watching. Okay, so now you just click generate depth map and you wait. All right, and there you go. So I'm gonna go to shading and add a new material so we can connect our image to this object, and there you go. Now, if you want to get better results, you just go and add a bump node connect the color of this image texture to height and then the bump normal to normal of the principal BSDF and just decrease this number by a little until you get more detail. All right. You can also do this with roughness by connecting this. Now you can tell that this is a bit glossy now. The roughness is too low. So we're going to add a math node and add in roughness so we have 
it a bit rough, okay? Uh, let's go to the UV editor, because we are getting these um, weird things on the sides. The only thing we need to do is go in edit mode by pressing tab or going here and pressing edit mode. Press A and, pre and pressing yes, so you scale, and you scale down, and you don't get those weird sides anymore, okay? Going back to layout, if we go to the modifiers, we have, we can see how this happens, right? So you have the subdivision modifier set to two, just like we said in here. You have also the displacement modifier, and here you can set how much strength you want the depth map to affect on the 3D model. And then you have also a smooth modifier, so you smooth the mesh. Okay. All right. Now let's try another with another images. For example, this bedroom. You select it. You generate the depth map. Now you have this nice looking. Uh, 3D model based on the image you input, right? So again, we're going to shading mode and we have the material we said before, but I'm going to set this to the bedroom. And now we have the bedroom as a 3D model, which is very, very nice, okay? So another trick I like doing is with the emission, we have lamps here, right? So what we can do with this is basically adding a color ramp. I set this color to factor and then we open the emission here on the principal BSTF and set this to color, okay? And if we add more strength into this and if we slide the black ones to here, okay, and we go to uh, render mode, we can get light from what stuff that is emitting light here, right? And you can get a realistic looking room, kind of real light. So it's dark, but with this, very dark, but with this, it gets light from what was emitting even in this uh, side, okay? And you can always, always add in a light have a real light effect, which is pretty cool. All right, let's go back to layout. Let's go back to layout and select another image. And we're going with this entrance. And delete every modifier and just generate a depth map again. And there you go. We have, again, a good looking 3D model based on an image. The lights, let's go back to shading. Let's change our, this time we don't have any lamps or anything emitting light. So let's let uh, this and set this to zero. And select our entrance image. And look at that. All right, now let's go with apply as shader. You also have image only that will be saved. Every image you generate will be saved on the same location you set here, okay? So uh, if you set to image only, it will just save it here and nothing will be applied into the mesh. If we apply as a shader, it won't add any displacement or smooth modifier, okay? It will add in the shading tab. Let's try that. We're gonna delete this material because it will be adding another one. And just let's select, for example, this one and generate depth map. Okay, now let's go to shading tab again. 
Now you can see you have the displacement map, a really good one. And it already automatically sets the bump node plugged in to that, and this with a mapping node and everything for the UV. Um, so this image had this uh, alpha border. So what I'm gonna do again is go to edit mode, and here I'm gonna scale down until I have only our subject selected. Okay. Here we still don't have any displacement. Why? Because we have to go to the material settings and in the displacement setting set it to displacement and bump. And here you get the result. Okay. You can also play with the scale. And again we can see the real light effect and the we can see real estate shadows from the image. Okay. And this one you can plug that in to there. And there you go. A good looking 3D model. Now what you can do too is bake it. Okay. What we'll do is just apply the displacement. We can try that. And good, we have it. The only thing we need to do is unplug the displacement here and this will be the actual mesh. Alright, that's it. Thank you for installing the add-on and I hope you enjoy it.